The doors open and I run in, but my boot heel catches in the crack. I fly forward and my purse swings over my shoulder in a loop. I land flat on my face and the entire contents rain down on the floor. Then I hear a clink, like something falling down the crack between the hallway floor and the elevator. Miss, are you okay? A male voice asks me. Are you hurt? I immediately push myself up to my hands and knees. My curly hair is blocking my vision, and I shove it out of the way so I can see. There is a stranger kneeling in front of me. A very handsome stranger. One with dark brown hair and the loveliest chocolate brown eyes I've ever seen. Who has just seen me trip, fall flat on my face, and... Oh my god, is this shoe on top of one of my tampons? I quickly begin grabbing my things and throwing them back into my Tory Burch tote. I'm fine, I say, keeping my eyes down, praying he somehow moves and I can swipe the tampon before he notices it. Thank you. Are you sure? You hit the floor really hard, he says. Um, I'm good. Here, let me help you he says, reaching for my lipstick case. No, I cry, mortified, sticking out my hand. Don't! His large brown eyes widen in surprise. No? You're saying no to me helping you? Yes, I say, willing him to move his foot. Okay, so mental telepathy only works on TV, because it sure as hell isn't working now. I go back to scooping up the millions of receipts I had squirreled away in my purse, along with my huge collection of drugstore mascaras, lipsticks, and Tic Tacs. Why? he asks, a bewildered expression on his face. I glance up at him as I toss my wallet back into my bag. Oh, wow. He's super cute. I'd have to say he's in his mid-twenties, and I can't get over how expressive his handsome face is. I grab my iPhone and cast my eyes back down. It's my mess. You shouldn't have to help me clean it up. A planner? He asks, holding my gold polka dot Kate Spade planner toward me. Aren't these out of style? Don't you use your phone for stuff like that? I pause. He's Canadian. I know he's Canadian from the way he said out, with a sort of lilt at the end of the word. That's not a planner, I say, taking it from him. It's my rule book. Rule book? Yes. I drop it into my tote as I continue to pick up stuff off the floor. Life is chaos. I like jotting down rules for my career and love life and use them as a guide to keep me organized. Some are serious, some are funny, but they're all designed to keep me from wasting time. So I don't make mistakes that will hurt me. And it's fun to do an... You write rules for your love life? He interrupts. I stop speaking.